welcome to your Virginia Wesleyan Marlins women's soccer and they take on Fair and Panthers today. Alongside me today is joined by Joey Lee, basket good, men's basketball team. How are you feeling today, Joey? I'm good, bro. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. And we got a special day today. We have senior day. We got 10 seniors starting. Oh, no, we got nine seniors starting, my bad. We have 10 graduating with Taylor Lorenzi on the bench. Uh, so your starters today for Virginia Wesleyan Marlins, we have freshman Ash Ashley Lockhart in goal with uh, sophomore Sam Crawford in defense. With the They're the only two non-seniors today starting. Then we have Emily Wright in defense, joined alongside Alex Zecker and Anna Pellicone in the back line. In the midfield, you have Maddie Cook, uh, Nicole Stolmeyer, and Mary Jackson. And then up front, we have Raina Arujo, Mia Meinhardt, and Sarah Heimbach. It's going to be an exciting match today, Joey. All the seniors are going to be wanting to get on the score sheet or put in a solid performance. For sure. It's a perfect day, too. Great weather. A little bit windy outside, but nonetheless, great weather for a senior day. Most of our listeners are sat right in front of us today with uh, the first spectators um, being allowed at the game with lots of family here to watch their kids graduate. Um, so appreciate anyone who can't make it to the game and listening at home. Ferrum just taking the ball at half pitch here. Bowers deciding to uh, give all the seniors a run out today. Unlucky for Taylor Renzi out with a knee injury but she'll be gutted but wanting her fellow seniors to do the best they can. Good defense from the Marlins that are moving the ball off the field right now. Pedicone looking for someone on the right but decides to go back to former roommate Emily Wright. She finds Mia at the top. She's looking out. Emery, Emily Wright claiming it, working it nicely around the Panthers here. Sam Crawford, the only sophomore playing, starting today, but an absolute stand set in their team this season and seasons to come. Marlin surveying the field right now. Taking most of the possession in this opening five minutes. Both teams are going to want to try to keep the ball on the floor. The wind is not going to help either of them. Ferrum just trying to keep that ball down on the floor. Space on the left here, but she decides to go down the middle. And it's going to run out for a goal kick here. The Ferrum starting lineup today we have Abby Hayes in goal, uh, Taylor Seal, Jenna Janicki, and Brady Hentz in defence alongside Caleb Berry. In midfield they have Alison Setlack, uh, Sydney Kincaid, and uh, Alex Matson, and then up top. For the Panthers, they have Yanni Virgin, uh, Daniel Kuta, and Casey Raggett. We're going to see the corner kick for Farron here. Yeah, first one of the game. It looks like they're lining up on the outside of the box here with the Marlins just crowding that six yard box, looking to defend her. Going to the edge of the box here. Bobbling around for the Panthers, but it's going to be a goal kick. Freshman Ashley Lockhart with her first start today over uh, Rachel Quigley and Am Amrita Kakari. She's going to look to prove herself in today's match. Nicely taken down there by Meinhardt. Oh, hard hit there with Panthers winning it back, but Pedicone clearing her lines here. Good touch. Alex 
Matty Saka there playing it back to Lockhart. Ooh. Lockhart turning out of trouble there. Looks like they got some open field here to advance. It's the first time we're going to see the Marlins in a, their last third here. We're going to see what they can do with lots of attacking options today. Lots of experience on the pitch. Good turn. Going to look to find someone in the box, but it's going to go out for a goal kick there. down the left side here lots of options in the box but she's going to go on her own Sarah oh, just, just blocked there by one of the Panthers but it's going to lead to the first corner of the game for the Marlins another scoring opportunity here Whipped in nicely there. Good but ball. can't find a mile in there. So it's going to work her way back out there to Rujo. Oh, it's great footwork there. And they're just going to pass it around the edge of the box here. Pelicone just trying to drift into the back post there, but couldn't quite find her way onto the end of it. Pedico getting a brace in uh, the game against Shenandoah University. It's going to look to continue her run. Crawford just making sure the Panthers don't creep too far forward. Nicely taken there in the middle, but it's going to work its way back. The Marlins definitely dominating possession early here. For sure. They're going to want to make turn that possession into a goal here. Crawford just calmly playing it back to Lockhart here to clear out. One for the parents there. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think one of the dads has taken that on the head. Great experience here today for the spectators. First time in a long time that they've been able to watch their Marlins. What a day to do it. Good touch there, but just can't quite keep it in. Pedicone looking line here for Stottlemyre. Gonna leave it to right here to take the throw. Good touch there. Had a call, maybe looking for a cross. Couldn't quite keep it in on that one. This 2021 20, class um, have amassed a 43, 17, and 10 record in the 70 games they've played. Um, they're going to look to add to that winning number. Uh, 
Collectively, these 10 women have had 67 career goals and 35 career assists for a total of 169 career points with 14 game-winning goals. Very impressive stats from the 2021 class. Quite a big class too, Joe, you know. You don't see many senior classes with 10 girls left standing. For sure. It'll be interesting to see how Wesleyan does next year. As yeah. well as they won't be returning as many players. Definitely some impressive freshmen. Um, we've seen in the earlier games this season the likes of Rachel Schoss, uh, Gracie Mullins, Julia Marone, but this Emily senior Wright. class is going to do it for them today. Emily Wright has some space here. Uh, couldn't quite find a Rudy on that one. I know Bowers has been recruiting hard over this last semester, so hopefully we see some new talent coming in in the fall. Marlon's really just taking this game by storm, just holding the ball out of the defensive third for the Panthers. Crawford just trying to find her way out of trouble. Farron with some open space here. Maybe looking for a cross. Oh, do get it. But lovely from Lockhart there, just clearing her lines. She's going to try quickly get it out to Pedicone. He's storming through the field here. He's going to look for Good a ball, Rujo. Diana. It's a great ball there. And she wins the Marlins a corner. The parents absolutely loving that one. Another scoring opportunity here for the Marlins. See if they can capitalize off this. Looks like it's going to be Anna Pedico to take this one. Lots of aerial ability in this senior class with the likes of Mia Meinhart and Sarah Heimbach. Good ball there from Pedico. Finds his way out. To Emily Wright. Couldn't quite make the opportunity of it. Alex Zaka looking inside there. Nicely won back there by Meinhardt. Just shielding the ball there from the Panthers. Looking for options. Nicely won back here by Pedicone. He's going to look for the first shot of the game, but nicely taken by Hayes. Seems like Ferrum is having a really hard time trying to clear the ball. Definitely. Just really struggling to find their way through that back line of the Marlins. Some 50, 50 battles here in the middle of the park between the two teams. Neither team have got a clear cut attacking opportunity yet, but I'm sure there's lots more to come. Looks like a few of the 
Wesley and um, players are warming up at the end of the bench right now. Probably see some subs soon. Yeah, definitely see some substitutions as seeing as they're experienced, but they they're not going to be able to run for the whole game. Good, good Your footwork. Dribbler. Crawford just shielding the ball away there. Just looking for options before. Good clear from Crawford. And it is like we're, we're going to see the first substitutions here. We're going to see four Marlins come on here. It's going to be, looks like Cameron Terry coming on, uh, Carly Van Rysen, Lexi Soterio also freshman coming on. She makes her first touch there. But great turn out there by Maddie Kirk. And Olivia Bryant also coming on. Cam Terry first touch there, couldn't quite connect with a fellow Marlin, but we know how dangerous she can be in the final third of the pitch, so we're going to be looking out for her today. Too sure what's going on right now. <laughs> I don't think the ref really knew either, to be honest, Jerry. But it's going to result in a Marlins throw with. Looks like another sub. Yeah, I think it's Abby Peterson, the sophomore, coming on here. As she finds her way down the left, passing it to Van Rienen. She's going to try to turn out of trouble. Great hustle there. And it's going to result in another Marlon calling here. Hopefully one of the subs can maybe... Oh, no, Ref's changed his mind here and it's going to be a goal kick. Ref having a hard time today out what he wants to do. <laughs> oh, Huge but it's a Rujo. Here for Reina. Oh, it's a great oh, turn. Cool. Oh. Really unlucky there by Rujo who just Sent the defender to the shops and just turning out of trouble. Rujo picking up the ball again, laying it off for Pedicone. Finds his way to Carly, who's going to flick it to Terry. But couldn't quite keep it under control there. Terry rocking the blue hair today. You think you could pull that off, Joe? No, I think uh, I got enough outfits for that. I could come up with some. I think so too. Texas uh, native Kendi Anders is coming on um, in her junior year here at Virginia Wesleyan. Oh. 
taken by Bryant there, who's going to flick it over the top, taken down by Van Rienen. Oh, but couldn't quite find anybody there. there. Yeah. Soterio just looking out for options here. Good great, ball. great ball into Van Rienen who turns. Oh, Paddy Kane just wait, oh. tried to play it in behind to Terry there, but cut out nicely by the Panthers. Terry looking line here for Van Rienen. Arujo into side to Pedicone, but getting out for a goal kick there. Van Rienen being very active in the last five minutes, so wouldn't be surprised if we saw her name on the score sheet today. day to day. Um, stick around to watch Doubleheader, men's soccer. Um, plays right after. Be on the lookout for Jake Hansbrough too. He's he's dangerous uh, on and off the pitch. You know. For sure. Also playing Ferrum College. Been a quiet last five minutes here as we're heading towards 22 minutes left of the first half. Um, Marlins really need to look for that final ball in that last third. Nicely taken here by Peterson. Lots of open space, room to attack. Swung the petty on the right side. Arujo, oh, oh, beautiful shot there, just off the mark, right. Arujo definitely looking sharp this afternoon. too many scoring opportunities but we'll see if that changes yeah the Marlins back four just really shutting them down before they can get anything started working it nicely with some one touch football in the middle of the park here crossing it into the box but no one for them another great stand from the Marlins Ferrum coming from a 3-0 defeat against Bridgewater um, last Wednesday so they're definitely going to want to bounce back from that one uh, whereas our Marlins, they had a double overtime, 0-0 zero, zero tie, and that's that's a tough one to swallow. So they're definitely gonna gonna be wanting to win this one. I was expecting a little bit of fatigue here from the Marlins from the double overtime game, but yeah, it's always tough to come back from those ones. But likely to see lots of substitutions as as we've seen in this first half.
Peterson finding her way onto that one, but knocked off from a Panther to for a Marlins throw her. Tough one for Terry to keep down on that. So a switch of possession here and another substitution for the Panthers. And it's going to be Daisy Harris coming on for the Panthers here. Foul throw by the substitution, so it's going to switch back to the Marlins here, and they're going to take a quick one. Looks like it's going to be a corner kick for the Marlins. Swung in nicely on the six head six yard box there, but couldn't quite get on the end of it there. It's just gonna work its way back to Sam Crawford. Cut out there by Anders. And it's gonna be Terry, but she can't quite get that one. set of subs here for Wesleyan. Looks like it's Arujo who's gone off for freshman Julia Marone. Great defense from Pedicon there. Good first touch there by Marone to Bryant who turns her way out of trouble. It's a great ball in behind there by Anders who finds its way to Peterson. Trying to get it on her strong foot here. Anders looking for someone in the middle. But taken out by the Panthers. But just crowded there by the Marlins. So they're going to win back possession. With Marone trying to make her way down that right side. But again, another corner here for the Marlins. Lots of corners here in the first half, but haven't quite capitalised on their opportunities, so definitely going to want to do that in the first half if they can. Marlins have been very dominant this game. Definitely. Just want to get them on the score sheet. Need to continue being sharp, though, because as you know, all it is is one mistake, and Farron could capitalize off that. That's it, Joe. Just don't want to let your foot off the gas. Good touch out there. Peterson not trying to. Keep it under control there. Quick shout out to Evan Sabay on the men's basketball team. Just pulled up to the game. Just love to see other Marlins supporting their teams, you know. So we're going to have our first attacking free kick here for the Marlins. We're going to see what they can do from this sort of opportunity with Sam Crawford taking it. Too, much too high from Sam Crawford.
slip there from Panther, so it's going to be a Marlin ball here. Terry's got some space to run. Looking for a cross here. Great ball. Van Rienen playing it back to Terry. Yet another corner here. They really need to look to challenge the goalkeeper on one of these corners, maybe even put it on the spot. Great ball from Terry there. Finds his way to Pearson, but cleared off the line by the Panther. Pearson just rose like a salmon for that one, but couldn't quite get it in the back of the net. Little too much on that for Cameron Terry to handle. Probably the best opportunity we've seen there from a corner for our Marlins. Again, a great header by there by Peterson. Just keeping her head up here, looking for options. Peterson just pulling in there to his central role from her left side position, trying to thread it through the middle there. really calm there just dribbling it out of their back of their final third just giving Ferrum absolutely no hope where's the universe inside of the field now great Te ball oh Van Rienen with the nutmeg finds its way to Petty but gonna work its way out for a throw Great little nutmeg there by Carly Van Rienen. Throw one for the Marlins here. Marone just battling for the ball here in the, in the corner, looking for options, and she finds it. Pedico chucks it in the middle. And it's going to be Peterson for the shot. Finds its way back to Marone. Lots of chances there, but couldn't quite put one away. So it finds its way back to its back line. With Crawford keeping it under control. Great passing from Wesleyan so far. Like you say, Joe, it's just absolute domination here from the Marlins but they just can't quite put their chances away good ball over the top there from Anders Pedicone trying to hit it on the volley but couldn't quite get a sweet connection It's going to be Pedicain going off after that shot. And it's going to be freshman Kerry Smith coming on here.
Good first touch there by Smith. Terry just holding it up there. Great pass to Van Rienen. He's oh couldn't quite get it there to Marone. Alex Zaka just Ooh. long range shot there from Terry but good hands there from Hayes to keep it up just lots of aerial battles here going on in the middle Both teams just trying to get it down. Another set of subs here for Wesleyan. And it looks like it's going to be freshman Gracie Mullins coming off for Carly Van Rien, who had, I think, one of the best performances of the first half so far. For sure. She was very active in the first half. Was playing lots of chances for her fellow teammates. Lots of space backside, just wasn't able to get the ball there. Again, Wesleyan playing a great game, just haven't been able to get one through the net yet. That's right, I'm sure Bowers is going to have something to say about it at halftime. I'm sure he'll be happy about the performance, but wanting to wanting the girls to just take their chances throw in here for Wesleyan as we see lots of freshmen just linking up here with Terry and Mullins and Maroon as we see another freshman Smith here lots of potential as we head into the next year for the women's team Great turn there by Mullins. Finding her way. Marone looking for a cross. Oh! oh! Beautiful shot, beautiful shot. That's a great finish there by Kerry Smith. That is just absolutely beautiful chip there from Smith. Freshman coming out of Lovettville, Virginia. Teammates loving that one. Sort of reminded me of uh, Ronaldinho versus England on that one. That was just absolutely beautiful chip. Facts. And that was the chance that they've been waiting for. As we see our Marlins go up 1 0 in the first half with just five minutes to go on the clock now. Definitely what they needed right before half time. It's gonna sting for the Panthers. Assist by Gracie Mullins, just the freshman again linking up on that goal. to the backfield of Wesleyan. Wesleyan just not giving the Panthers any chances here in the first half. I don't think I've seen a shot on goal. The defense from Wesleyan seemed very composed too. Yeah, definitely. Sam Crawford, freshman of the year last year. 
from the ODAC, so expect to see it from. Lots of talent in the freshman class right now, too. Definitely. Goal scorer here, Curry Smith, some great footwork. Just battling to win the ball back. ball now finally making their way into that last third they're going to look to shoot on goal oh wow oh my Beautiful word shot. that yep. is left peg outside the box from an absolute mile away and just as we talked about earlier all just they need is one opportunity just one moment Jay Takes us to one all in the first half here. Another sub for Wesley and his Cam Cameron Terry heads out of the game. You Tyler Wheeler enters the game. He's automatically starting some good offense for Wesley. You see it time and time again with uh, teams, Joey. You know, they'll score a goal and let their guard down for one moment, and then all it takes is one shot. That's exactly what happened right there. I believe it was number 10, Isabella Battilion, with the goal for the Farron Panthers. Mullins just racing to get that one, but Hayes coming out and collecting it. Great thought right there, just couldn't execute. Alex Zeka just rolling it back to Lockhart there. She receives it back. Good passing here from Wesleyan as they advance the ball up the field. Head up here, looking for goal scorer Smith. Good turn there. She finds Soterio, who's going to look to get it in the box here with lots of white shirts in the middle. But it makes its way out for a corner. Two minutes on the clock now, so it would be a great time to score here for the Marlins. on the left foot there. Beautiful pass, just wasn't able to connect with anything right there. I think those are the sorts of corners that we really need to see in the second half from the Marlins, just putting it on the goalkeeper, just pressuring them to make a save. For sure. Soterio to Brian. Great turn. Brian trying to find Mullins, but Panthers just clearing it out. One minute to go here in the first half. Peterson just weighing up her options, but she decides to go left. Cut really in there. For some options. Oh, Ooh, great ball. Just wasn't able to connect. Big opportunity there for the Marlins. Goal kick here for Farrell. Last minute substitution here for the Panthers as Lacey Flanagan comes in. Really calm here from Marlins back line. With 
Alex Zaka playing it in to Mullins. She's going to try to turn out of trouble, but she's just surrounded by black shirts there. And that will mark it for the end of the first half here. Absolute domination by the Marlins, but strike of brilliance from the uh, battalion. So it's one all at the end of the first half.
and welcome back to the second half of your Virginia Wesleyan Marlins versus Ferrum College. You join us at 1-1 with some beautiful goals from both teams. Both teams are going to be looking to add to that here on senior day for the Marlins with senior Zacco there just trying to pass it to the freshman there as we see the Panthers passing it around the edge of the box automatically in the first half we see Ferrum applying more pressure I think that's more shots than we saw from them the whole of the first half coach really must have had something to say in that half time team talk Senior Reno Rujo back on the field here for the second half had an impressive first half and she's going to want to add to that for her senior day here on that one so it's going to be a Panthers throw <laughs> Panthers is just working it around the edge of the box here definitely keeping more of the ball than they did in the first half Both teams started to seem a little fatigued at the end of the first, so hopefully after a much needed halftime, start to see more action pick up soon. For sure. As we see Pedicone with the throwing here, she's going to look line for Maddie Cook, who's coming back in for the second half. moving it up the field. Great, Great ball. ball. Smith just trying to keep it in here on the left side. Great ball in the middle there. And it falls to... Oh! oh. Fell to Meinhardt, but an absolute save there from Hayes for the Panthers. Positive football here from the Marlins at the start of the second half to bounce back from the Panthers having the possession here. Crossed in here, put on Hayes' hands. Rujo looking to turn in. One to the stomach there for the Panthers. Forced to Soteria, who's going to look to hit it. Oof. A little too high. Great to see both teams coming out firing in this second half, not holding anything back. Mullins just getting the ball under control here, trying to poke it round, but cut out there by the Panther. Finds a 
finds its way back to Crawford. Reversing sides of the field here for Wesley. Meinhardt just battling in the middle there to regain possession. And it's finding its way to ball. Mullins with space. Lots of space there. Ah. Offside there for Arugio. Good little link up play there between Meinhardt and Mullins. Pelican retaining the ball there, just going through the middle, but cut out by Panther. Good defense there from Fair. Martin is looking to switch the play here. Zaka looks to the left for Meinhardt. Been a pretty physical game so far. For sure, both teams battling it out in the middle of the pitch for their 50-50s. Nicely played there down the right side. With Lots Aru of space here in the middle. Arujo just storming through here. It's a great Beautiful ball to ball Smith, who's going to look to finish. Oh, she hits the post. Such a good setup there. Smith could have got the brace there, but just denied by the woodwork and taken by Hayes. Really unfortunate there for Smith, who couldn't quite slot that one home. Good turn there by Cook. This 2021 class of actually appeared in two NCAA tournaments in 2017 and 2018. Another great ball there. As we see senior Meinhardt here looking for any options in the 18 yard box. Bit too much there from Smith. They narrowly missed out on the postseason in uh, 2019 as they finished runners up in the ODAC tournament. They're definitely going to be looking for revenge in 2021 season here. Looks like we might see some subs here soon. A couple of Wesleyan players warming up at the end of the bench again. Fresh legs at this part in the game is crucial for both teams bring that extra spark which leads to a goal. Wesleyan seemed to pick it back up defensively. Hasn't been in the back end too much now. It's going to be Soterio running it down on the right side. It's a great ball great into ball Gracie Mullins here. Another opportunity for Wesleyan, hoping for a cross. Finds Meinhardt, but just crowded there by black shirts. Just couldn't quite find the leg room to finish that one. Quick turnaround from Thurum. They're on their attack right now. Matson just taking it up nicely, but 
cut out again by Crawford. See in the background there, men's soccer arriving for their match against also Farum College. Another key player to look forward to in that game is Andrew Glass. Mullins just trying to slot it through to Arujo, but nothing on that one as Hayes comes out and collects it. Cook got lots of options here. She decides to go to Mullins. He decides to strike it, but easy enough for Hayes on that one. Mullins sort of taking the role that Van Rien had in that first half, and both players have seen to seen a lot of the ball, been extremely active in that position. Pavicone just finding her way through that right side. Arujo got lots of white shirts in the middle here. Tries to go around and gets that corner. Marlins have had a lot of scoring opportunities, but credit to Barham's goalkeeper, Hayes. She's playing a great game today. Definitely making lots of saves here. In both halves. See Maddie Cook exit the game here. for freshman Olivia Bryant to come in. Low driven cross there. <laughs> Low driven cross cause some chaos there so but they've gone to decided to go higher here oh wow again Hayes another good save there lots of shirts jumping for that one but Hayes coming out on top And is there just playing it nicely back and forth between Crawford. Fair and find themselves an opportunity here. But again, Crawford just cutting that one out. Crawford really just has a knack for the ball, it seems like. Yeah, she's so collected, it's really an asset to the Marlins defense. Wesley here on the counter attack. Marlins again taking it up here. Looking for her options. She's going to go left to Arujo here. Looking for a give and go. Finds its way to the box. Mia couldn't quite keep it under control there. Another couple of substitutions here with Kennedy Anders coming off. As well as Mia Meinhardt, who did have her opportunities in that second half. Also, active midfielder Gracie Mullins coming off. Looks like Julia Mar uh, or Tyler Wheeler is coming back on. Alongside Julia Marone. Panthers also making a substitution here as we head into half an hour left. Bryant just keeping it under, under control in the middle of the park.
Crawford crowded there by black shirts, but she's managed to get it out. Good ball from Zeka there. Great turn. Pelican playing it nicely into the middle here. Looking for some through balls. Ah, just couldn't get control of it. Zeka finding her way to the ball. But just lots of switches in possession in this last five minutes. Deciding to go to that right side. Good footwork there from Arujo. Slots it into the middle here for Marone. Plays it out to Beautiful. Oh Arujo with an absolute strike onto the crossbar. Would have been a lovely way to get the lead in the second half. Really just connected there. And it leads its way to Smith. And it's a Ooh. great goal. She slotted it near post. And Hayes can get anywhere near it. That's a brace for the freshman. Kerry Smith. She's going to be absolutely delighted there. Fellow freshman hyping her up on that one. Beautiful pass too to lead to that goal. Definitely. Just loads of space. Just really composed and just slotted it near post. And that gives the Marlins a 2-1 lead here in the second half. Oh now the Marlins can't fall into that trap of just letting their guard down again in the second half and they've just got to focus really hard here for the next five to make sure that they don't concede as they did in the first. For sure. It'll be interesting to see how they respond. How do you think Coach Smith is feeling after those two goals, Joe, as a freshman? That's a big time. Definitely going to do a lot for her confidence. It seems like she's already confident. Definitely going to earn some respect there from her older teammates. For sure. It's hard enough to play as a freshman, let alone score two goals as big time. Definitely. Definitely putting that case in for a start for Coach Bowers. Terry with the throwing into Terry here. Good footwork, just holding up the play. Finds his way to Marone, who's going to have a shot. A bit like a chip almost, S similar to the one that Smith scored in the first half, but Hayes just taking that one confidently. Um, just coming to the final third here. Been extremely quiet for them in the second half after that goal. 
very positive for the Marlins as we see some good link up play here between Terry but couldn't quite keep possession on that one Panthers just not connecting in that final third. With Smith just playing a nice ball cross pitch, but doesn't look like Wheeler could connect on that one. Games just slow down in this last five minutes. Fatigue is definitely settling in. Yeah, as we head with 24 minutes left on the clock. Doesn't look like the Marlins are letting their foot off the gas, trying to maybe get another one to really put the game to bed. Barham on the attack here. And again, it's knocked away by Wiseman. Great bench, move right there. bench loving that one. Terry's going to turn out here. Three white shirts in the box. Works his way back to Peterson. Smith again. In the middle of the box, but couldn't put that one away. Smith looking for a hat trick here, maybe. Be extremely impressive as a freshman. Definitely possible the way she's been playing today. 100%. As we see her again just picking up the ball in the middle. Smith with some open field here if she can get to it. Plays it nicely back to Terry. Into the middle of the field now. Strikes it. Ah, a little bit too high. Good connection though there from Gunther. Also a freshman in the women's team here, Virginia Wesleyan. And it looks like we're going to have Mary Alexis Jackson Another senior here checking in for the second half. Calm there from Peterson just to turn out to find Soterio. Who's going to try to find someone in the box? Marlins playing extremely attacking football for a team that are 2 1 up. It's great to see from a fan's perspective. So we see goal scorer Smith just slotting the ball in the middle, but cleared out there from Yanni Virgin. to get it up there beautiful ball great ball slots it home and she's absolutely delighted that's Julia Marone there another freshman great assist there from Cameron Terry maybe senior day but the freshmen are showing out with all three goals today Great ball from K. 
Cameron Terry there. Hundred percent. That's just. And that takes us to three one to our Virginia Wesleyan Marlins. And it'll be interesting to see what Coach Bowers does here, whether he decides to sit back with 20 minutes on the clock or whether he decides to go for another one to really kill the game. I, mean, I think attacking is working for them. I don't, I don't see any reason why they shouldn't still Definitely. keep attacking. I'm sure. Especially in the second half, the ball has not been down on Wesleyan's side defensively at all. Definitely. I'm sure the girls would prefer to carry on attacking as well. As we see the ball working up nicely on the right side here with Peterson. Oh. And that is going to be a goal kick here for the Panthers. Going to see one substitution for the Fair and Panthers here and two for the uh, for the Virginia Wesleyan Marlins with Sam Crawford coming out. Looks like Mackenzie Kearns is coming in. And that's going to be Sarah Heimbach, another senior, coming in to finish the game off. Oh, it's just beautiful football there, taking it past. Maroon's going to try to get on the end of it, but cut out by a Panther. Good football here from the Marlins, just working it around the edge of the box, but couldn't quite find that last ball. Great to see such a, a demanding lead here. Um, For sure. The seniors are able to play. Great way to finish a senior day with a 80 degree 3 1 victory if they can keep it like this. And a great, great game for the spectators that we have here today. It's a great game to come back to as we see Smith just taking it around number five. Panthers just working their way up for the first time in this second half. As it finds its way to the edge of the box. Maybe Take an opportunity here. Looks like a goal kick for Wesleyan. Looks like we're going to have a triple substitution here for the Marlins. of subs in the game now for Wesley. So you hear all the and it's gonna be giving their appreciation. Smith looking for that final ball again. Cuts inside. Oh. Chance for penalty but not quite enough contact for the ref on that one. Could have been her hat trick right there. Could have been. What a feeling that would have been for the freshman. Turn there from Sarah, just knocking it round. She's gonna look for someone here. Just bobbling around on that six-yard box, but no one could quite poke it in the goal. 
another substitution here for the Marlins. As we've seen, Brace scorer Kerry Smith coming out for Anna Pedicone. Another senior who's going to look to finish the game off strong. Messi cut out there by a Panther. Emily slotting the ball nicely there. Ooh. Peterson with a bit much on that one. Good to see the Marlins still attacking. A goal with 15 minutes left. A couple of substitutions here for the Panthers. Just trying to flick it over the top there, but could only make it out for a throw. Wesleyan doing a great job with time and possession here in the second half. For sure. As we see Wheeler trying to cut it back. Looks like okay. it's going to be a goal kick. Storming to the ball today. Definitely. Even without uh, when Stam Sam Crawford stepping out of the game, we're still seeing solid back line here from the Marlins. As it rolls out for a goal kick. Rachel Wilson, freshman to go into the game for Mackenzie Kearns. Good first touches there from the freshman. Just clearing their lines. Bowers just really making sure he gets the most out of his bench today. Just rotating the squad. Tussle there between Peterson. That ends up being cleared there. And the refs are definitely letting them play today. Just trying to keep the play going as much as possible. As we see Sarah just 
holding the ball up here. Another set of subs here for Wesleyan. Number nine, Molly Gobble in the game. Home back trying to just flick it over the top for Gobble, but couldn't quite get on that one. Excited to see the, the match with the, the men's team play today. Yeah, both teams going head to head with Ferrum College, and it looks like the women are going to get the better of him here. And hopefully, we're going to see our men's team do the same. Again, big shout outs to um, Jake Hansbro and Andrew Glass. <laughs> see how they perform in that game. Two of the Wesleyan's top players. Let's see if they can get the goals that Smith and Maroon have got here today. As we see Pedicone turning out with lots of space, playing it through the middle here. Lots of open space to work. He's just not being able to keep that one under control, so it is going to be a Marlin corner. And I think it's going to be fresh from Molly Gobble to take this one. Swung in there. Dangerous bobbling around the six there six yard box but taken by Hayes. Looks like she might be injured here. Maybe just winded as she gets back to her feet. Seems like she's starting to feel a little bit better. Substitute Ferrum goalkeeper just getting ready just in case. About eight minutes left in the game. Physical challenge there by one of the Panthers. But one back nicely by the Marlins. Gobble just dropping the shoulder there, looking for options, but taken away by a black shirt. Can't ask for too much of a better senior day today. For sure. I'm sure Coach Bowers would be very satisfied after the game. Definitely needed a win after a loss, a one um, really difficult 1-0 loss against Washington and Lee where they felt they should have had a penalty in the last five minutes. And then the 0-0 draw with Randolph Macon in double overtime. So this is going to feel extra sweet for the team on senior day. One back in a dangerous position here. It's going to be just Pennycone 
and Sarah home back just trying to find their way onto the end of that one should really mark off a great senior day for one of them calling it back but home back had space to run on that. Haven't seen too many of these today. Yeah, ref really just letting the ball play today. Sharon we're gonna look to launch it up here. and set that shooting there but no trouble for Lockhart on that one as we head into five minutes remaining on the clock looks like Marlins are going to just hold this out but anything can happen as we saw in the first half Sydney Kincaid a freshman from Ferrum is in the game now Marlins, nice ball through there. We've got Gobble home back and Pedicone in the box here. And it's going to be oh. home back. Pedicone couldn't quite finish that one. Home back letting it run through. Another chance there for the senior. He's going to be frustrated after that one. Hopefully we'll get a senior goal here with four minutes left on the clock. As we have Rachel Shaw stepping into the game, another freshman. Looks like the Marlins are going to hold this one out for the win. Yeah, again, just dominant performance from them all around. 11 shots for the Marlins and one for Theron. And that sort of sums up what the game was like today. And what a day to win here as we're with Senior Day. Again, just telling you we have Maddie Cook, Alex Zecker, Anna Pedicone, Sarah Heimbach, Nicole Stottlemyre, Emily Wright, Mia Meinhart, Mary Alexis Jackson, Reno Arujo and Taylor Renzi all here on their senior night today. And what a day it was. Calm pass there from Lockhart. Marlins on the counter attack. Could they could they get one before the end of the game? Sarah Heinbach just tripping on the on the ball there. Definitely some fatigue setting in. Definitely. Been great hustle from all the girls here today to secure this win. As we see senior Emily Wright 
getting this one clear. Great ball here from the Marlins, just working it from the left to the right. As we see, Wheeler just sprinting down the right. He's Wide gonna open. find Sarah Heim back. Oh, couldn't quite nod that one in. Although they have lost today, I, I believe Hayes has had a great performance for the Panthers. She's been put under non-stop pressure here by the Marlins. Got a run from Molly Gobble here. Could we see a goal before the end of the game? That would cap off a perfect senior there. Offsides here. But I think this will do it as the clock winds down. appreciate everyone who's at home and hasn't been able to come to the game today. I appreciate you guys for listening. Appreciate my man Joey Lee for commentating with me. Of course, I got you. And that's going to do it for the Marlins. 3-1 for the women's soccer on senior day.